This is at 441.5 at 50 hertz. 600 millivolts peak to peak, square wave. And I'll vary the frequency, I'll go down to 20 hertz. There's 20 hertz, let's see. It's non calibrated timing. But you can see it's slanted there. The other radio was perfect, it was not slanted. Fifty hertz. It's a little bit better. It's a hundred hertz. That's pretty good, actually. So that's eight hundred hertz. Again, this is still supposed to be a square wave. Deviation's three kilohertz. This is me varying it a little bit. We are calibrated deviation here. It's at the 2.5 kilohertz per dev. two kilohertz and I mean that looks like a perfect sine wave now and it's still a square wave going in there let me switch over to a sine wave here So it's about 810 peak to peak at one kilohertz. Nice, perfect signal there. Bring that down a little bit, okay. So uh, if I go down here to uh, 100 hertz sine wave, you can see we're still 3.12 or so, and you'll see on here it's about the same, so 100 hertz, kilohertz, and 2 kilohertz, still about the same deviation. And 2.5 is where it starts dropping off, and you can see it gets smaller. And that's 3, so the difference between 2.5, I'll go back over here. So 2.5 is still the same deviation. It's 2.8, we're down about, uh, about 25, 250 hertz, 300, and at three kilohertz, we're down 600 hertz of deviation. Uh, so tuning for three kilohertz, I think, is wrong. That's what Motorola says to do. However, the issue is, is if their filter and their radio slacks off or, you know, the, the, you know, they're trying to equalize it. You can't equalize at three kilohertz and know that, hey, you're already, you know, a couple, uh, a little bit down there. It's not going to be balanced. So I aligned 2.5 kilohertz sine wave versus an 80 hertz sine wave input, and uh, it, it came out very 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 close um you know i'm still a little bit concerned why the square wave is off like that but uh i i would say that's an issue with motorola's alignment there possibly with being this is a newer radio because i've done this alignment before at three kilohertz and not had this problem i could also have another issue with the vco and i think there there still might be something but it doesn't look like it'll affect this for 
at least strictly analog use now. And uh, that's four kilohertz right there. So you know, it's completely. Uh, it's uh, five kilohertz. It's basically nothing, and just to prove we're wideband, you can still hear it at six kilohertz. And uh, six kilohertz has a little bit. It's kind of interesting. You can actually hear this. It is deviating all the way up to about 10 kilohertz. And right about 12 is kind of where we lose it. So it's beyond what the it can read, but it's still there. So we are using the wideband input just to prove that. And. 1KC tone. There we go. Looks good.